All right, let's just wrap up this section quickly with a review of some trade terms. I just want to let you know that if there's something that you didn't understand in the book or that wasn't covered in the video, please post this, uh, post your question in the classroom forum regarding anything in this section of learning that we've done. And if you're really stuck on something, you just need to get with me and we'll get together online and get this taken care of. All right, so compressor, that is the part of the refrigeration system that converts that low pressure, low temperature vapor into high temperature, high pressure refrigerant gas. And it is pretty much the heart of the refrigeration cycle that pumps that refrigeration around. It is also the dividing point between the low pressure system and the high pressure system, one of the dividing points. The condenser, this is where we reject um, the heat that we remove from the uh, refrigerator, the cooler, or the house, or the building. And um, the, refrigerate, the refrigerant flows through that condenser coil and releases the heat to the outdoor air. Remember, heat flows from a substance with more heat, with molecules in motion, to a substance with less heat. So that refrigerant is heated up by the compressor. And um, the heat is removed from the refrigerant to the outdoor air inside the condenser. And it also changes the refrigerant back down to liquid from, from vapor. The evaporator, that's where we have our cooling and it transfers the heat from the air flowing across it into the refrigerant and that um, is how it absorbs the heat and removes the heat from the, the building or the cooler that it's in. Expansion device. This is the, the other dividing point which divides the high side of the system from the low side of the system and it provides a pressure drop and whenever you have a pressure drop in refrigerant, it lowers the temperature of it as well. So it takes that high pressure, high temperature liquid and drops the pressure down into so that in into the evaporator so that um, we can absorb the heat from the the structure. Heat pump. This is a reverse cycle air conditioning system and it it has a valve in there that reverses the refrigerant cycle so that uh, in the winter time it's it's removing heat from the outdoor air and bringing it in and in the summertime in the cooling mode it's removing heat from the indoor indoor air and taking it out heat transfer um, just remember heat is it's what we call molecules is not what we call it is molecules in motion and heat always goes from a substance that has more molecules in motion, more heat energy, to one with less heat energy. I, I kind of like to get rid of that warmer, cooler substance. It's, it's either has more heat energy or less heat energy. Hydronic. Um, this is a boiler system or air conditioning cooling system, a chiller, that uses water to um, transfer the heat. So rather than blowing air through ductwork, it flows water through uh, pipes in the floor and uses it transfers the heat to the different parts of the building using water. International Building Code, IBCs, and it's just construction codes that set the standards that are universal across the um, United States. Mechanical refrigeration, that is just the use of um, machinery to provide cooling. That's what we work on every day. And the mechanical refrigeration cycle is um, circulating the refrigerant. It absorbs the heat from a place where it is um, not wanted and it will move it to a place where it really doesn't matter that the heat goes. So it takes the heat from the inside of the house where it's not wanted, transports it to the outside of the house where it really doesn't matter. Noxious, that is anything fumes type wise that's harmful to your health. Toxic. That's something that's poisonous. So harmful to the health, it means it's going to have a long-term effect on your health. It may take a, a long term for it to um, manifest itself. It may make you sick immediately, but prolonged exposures over years and years can also have um, more harmful effects. And toxic, those are that's poisonous. That's going to have an immediate trip to the hospital more than likely. Okay, so next session, we're going to take a look at um, technical licensing and certification certification and careers in the HVAC trade. All right, guys, have a good day.